Friends, this morning on the 7th of November, the, the closest Sunday to the 11th, we gather ourselves to remember, to pray, to pay tribute, and to consider the lessons that our history tries to teach us. We gather knowing that the world is both better and worse for our having engaged in the conflicts that have marked the last 150 years or so. As followers of the Prince of Peace, we acknowledge the necessity to seek peaceful solutions to complex areas of human relationship, and we confess our failure in those efforts to seek peace and keep peace. As we share in our act of remembrance this morning, you are invited to stand as you are able, and if sitting is better for you, um, then know that the national anthem comes at the very end, and you can do at that time what seems best. But in the meantime, I would invite those who are able to stand. <clears throat> Those who look to the Lord will win new strength. They will soar as on eagle's wings. They will run and not feel faint. They will march on and not grow weary. Friends, let us pray. Let us remember the constant mercies of God and God's presence with us in our times of need. We remember the courage, devotion to duty, and the self-sacrifice of the men and women in our armed forces. We remember the toil, endurance, and suffering of those who were not in uniform. We remember the support of those from different cultures and understandings who joined us in the struggles. Let us remember those who volunteered for service, those who were wounded in the fight, those who died on the field of battle, those who were lost at sea or whose bodies rest on foreign soil. We remember those whom we named the enemy, with whom we share an ancient heritage as part of God's created order whose grief is no less real than ours. Let us remember those who came back, those whose lives still bear the scars of war, those who lost sight or limbs or reason, those who lost faith in God and hope for humanity. Let us consider anew the cost to our communities, our nations, and our combined humanity that comes at the expense of our desire to be right and our need to be victorious. Help us confess the anxiety we feel when we hear the angry language of conflict in our midst. Anxiety that comes with a desire to strike out in anger. 
anxiety that comes from a history that we dare not forget. Remember those places where war still rages. Remember those people who still find themselves in harm's way. Remember those conflicts whose cause has been lost in the noise of the battle, even as people everywhere pray for peace in our time. And may we always remember the power of your grace, O God, whose love holds all souls in life, and to whom none is dead, but all are alive forever through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> they shall not grow old as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
Let us pray together. God, grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to all creation peace and life abundant. In the name of Christ.